We have been told not to go on this trip. 300 kilometer snowmobile journey through the remote northern Finnish Lapland. One snowmobile, two bags. What could go wrong? What's up guys? My name's David. I live here in Levy, Finland. I'm a safari guide and professional snowmobile driver for a living out here with my boy. My name is Sergio, I'm a photographer, videographer, and I'm out here making travel content here with David. Tomorrow we're going to go on a snowmobiling trip. It's been an absolute dream of mine since I arrived here. I want to go up north as we can go in Finland, up towards Sweden, Norway border in a place called Kilpishjavi. It's going to be a three-day trip in total. Uh, we've got one, snowboard, one snowmobile, we've got two bags, we've got a change of clothes, We've got axes, first Bro, aid kits, space blankets, yep. everything you need because it's about negative 11 at the moment. You can see we're a little cold. Yep. Obviously, conditions can change at any point um, and a lot of things can go wrong out there. But we've got a professional guide here, so I think I've never been snowmobiling before. So this is definitely going to be an experience for me. But like all things in life, it's going to say yes to all the... Uh, crazy experiences that you can have and i think this is we've been doing crazy crazy stuff this whole week but i think this one will be the craziest yet quick pit stop for some food we only got the Fanta because that's the only one on the menu we could understand. <laughs> I think we're going to try the next one is Arctic food, right? Mm -hmm. But for now, we got David's got the... Uh, that one. <laughs> got the juice. No. How's, how's the trip so far? 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. So yeah, we're in the middle of um, country Finland. Is that Lapland? Country yeah. Lapland. And this is the only t this is the only uh, civilization we've seen in like the last 60 kilometers. So it feels like we're back in the big city out here. No English. Nah, there's a little bit of English. It was like restaurant. <laughs> I was like, okay, I understand. <laughs> but yeah, quick stop. And we'll be back to, back in the uh, back in the snow tracks. Pray to God, man, I'ma make it soon Silence all the haters as they see us making moves I do what I want, so I got nothing to prove Staying motivated, teaching others what to do I'm staying focused, my mind is open They start to notice that I'm in motion There is no potion, you're not just chosen It takes devotion to stay composed, man Never stop, never stop, there ain't no time to fight Try to live, get it up, you got one life to pop Thinking big, never small, cause you gotta want it all When you finally get that call, you get ready, take it all Need a handout, I already stand out Starting to advance now, ready to expand now You don't have a chance now, cause we're in demand now Make it by the grand now First night in the wilderness hut. We were snowmobiling from 10.30 to 7. Oh. It's 10.30 a.m. to 7 p.m. Yep. Sergio's very first time on the <laughs> snowmobile. <laughs> <laughs> Bit of a fair warming. It's currently March, end of March to be fair. And the snow has gone to shit. It has been super hot, which means the track has been really bumpy. Yep. So, uh, what did you think about snowmobiling? Look, the first 10 minutes... It was okay, but as soon as we hit the bumps, I just felt like um, my backside's being constantly hammered, <laughs> I should say. <laughs> so the original plan, we're going to try and snowmobile to kill Pishavi. Every single person said that was a bad idea, possibility of death. And we were going to do it. But you know, common sense prevailed. We've, uh, <laughs> we checked the track conditions out, no good, probably wouldn't make it. So we've uh, decoursed, we're currently in Hetta, on the way to Nakala Mountain. It's about 
10 kilometers from this hut to the top of the mountain. Ah, so I know, it's, a, it's pretty incredible scenery out here. Yep. But there's a first introduction to snowmobiling. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe a little bit too much. <laughs> Gotta say though, you are pretty good at the driving side. Really? Although you do drive it the same way he used to drive his Corolla when we'd be going for a surf. <laughs> 110, he'd be sitting in 90, you know, <laughs> cutting along. I'll be like, bro, we got to get to the surf. <laughs> Every time I jump in his car, it starts beeping at me. We're going too fast. <laughs> I mean, what happened? I mean, you flipped over. I tipped in the snow once this morning, and you tipped in the snow, and then you actually fell off the actual mobile. And then, yep. He said, we stopped on a frozen lake. Yep. He's going to get some drone footage. He's like, can you do any skits? I said, no. <laughs> and then I think about it for a second. I'm like, well, I could try. <laughs> so I send it, smash the handbrake. Yeah, well, what do you think would happen? The whole thing flipped sideways, smashed down. The windscreen came off. Lucky, well, it's broken, but it doesn't look broken. And I went flying off the side. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> And now, well, you might have seen from the footage, we're staying in a wilderness hut. We've just cooked up gouda cheese, veggie sausages, uh -huh. some traditional Finnish bread. Tastes pretty bloody good, eh? Best deal I've had in weeks. <laughs> <sighs> Incredible night back at the hut last night. We had a decent sleep. Slept from 11 to 6. David had to wake up a little bit to stoke the fire, but overall, good night, sir. It's a good night. Good night. Okay, so once we're all set up, we're gonna go hit up the mountain up there. Uh, what's it called, David? Nakala. Nakala, we're gonna hit up Nakala Mountain, then make it back down to Hetta, get some coffee. Brother, you weren't lying. This is lit. This is ridiculous. We're gonna fly up the drone, I think. Successful mission. We got some good drone footage. It's fucking incredible view out here. But now the plan is we're gonna go down to the hotel. Maybe a uh, shave, shower. <laughs> well deserved coffee. Yes, sir. And no shower. We still have a big trip ahead of us. Yeah, yeah. We're going to go back towards Morneo Way, which is through a beautiful Palace Yalis National Park. Yeah. And then we're going to hit the Sweden border. Today. Today. Yes, sir. Let's see, let's go see Sweden. Let's go. Little good stuff halfway through. So, holy. Beautiful! Woohoo! Look at the colour, it's like aqua. That's insane. Jesus Christ. Alright, when you're driving out here in lap lane in the snowmobile track, you do run into some road roadblocks one uh, sometimes. And today we've got a roadblock. We've got a husky safari right in the uh, snowboard track. Oh they're coming. Jeez. Holy shit. Out. Uh, woo, I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> I had to ask the guy. <laughs> that's insane. And you guys are just stopping like in, on the. That's crazy. Well, look at this one. Oh. He, he is quite shy. Okay. Oh, sorry, boy. There we go. Hi. Hi. There you go, there's the husky safari. <laughs> there we go. 
Do the dogs get caught at night or? No, no, no. They sleep outside, just in a little hole. And... That's crazy. So where are you off to now? Uh, it's the last day, uh, so we have just lunch and go back to the dog farm. Uh, to the dog farm. Ah. Yeah, Keep Sweet, going. see you later. Thank you. And this is Sweden. Yep, and this is Finland. Finland? <laughs> Let's go through the river. <laughs> Sweden! Finland! Sweden! <laughs> oh my god! Ah! Dude! Finland! <laughs> fourth country this trip! Sweden! Sweden. <laughs> <laughs> Sweden! <laughs> Sweden. <laughs> so he's fucking up at the Swedish Finland border right now. So as you can see, Finland is that. Sweden is that. We're gonna check out the uh, we're gonna check out the actual snowmobile track because there was a lot of uh, there's a lot of water that seems to be giving away on the river now. So we might have to. No, that looks pretty stable. Did, it Did you crack that? Yeah. Nah, that's... Sheesh. Yeah, but that's already like almost... Does that mean that's how thick the ice was before? Yeah. That's insane. <laughs> oh, there you go. Yeah, that's a good measurement. That's insane. But yeah, so this is the... So this bridge we're standing under right now is the... Uh, Swedish Finnish border So if you just cross across the river David just said you could uh, snowmobile around the actual river and end up in Sweden So I'm sure some people have done that before Can we walk across the bridge? Yeah, I think so too Alright, so now that we are back safe and sound, your very first snowmobiling trip, Sergio, how do you reckon it went? Very good. It was quite bumpy at times, but we got a, I got a chance to uh, experience snowmobiling for my very first time. We did like 300 kilometers round trip from like Levy to Heta. And uh, it's a shame we didn't make it to Kilpishavi, but the tracks was quite bumpy, so we couldn't make it out, make it up there. But otherwise, we slept in the hut. We snowmobiled for like twelve, like almost twelve hours each day. So it was definitely in quite an introduction. Um, how was it for you? I mean, you've done snowmobiling yeah, a lot already. Wicked to explore a bit more of the Arctic Circle with you. Yep. Yep. Um, but it was the first of many adventures. Of course, you're going to be filming all of them. So I'm I'm stoked to go on this journey with you. Yeah. So currently we're in a hostel here in Lofoten Islands. So you already know that's what's going to be something f to see in the future. But thanks for watching the video. Uh, if you want to see more of our um, adventures, please like and subscribe on our channel. Leave a like, leave a comment, follow our Instagram and our socials. We'll put it all down. And yeah, so stay tuned for the next one. It's only going to get better. Get by the grand now.